not to not to keep harping on on th- th- this issue but like that's kind of what i feel like th- that for men because we are so motivated by sex and by some of the things we're talking about women and, and sex if if you make too much of your purpose about just that pleasure seeking activity I feel like you get to a certain point and I, and I, I've talked to these guys. Like you talk to the guys who are getting ignored by women. I've talked to the men who have had their families destroyed because again, they got it in their system and they couldn't figure out how to get out of it. And whether that's, well, them, that's not, that's, that's, whether that's cheating having... or porn or like whatever it is. Like when you, when you get, go down that path of that, of the way it molds your mind and creates these neural pathways. Me, yeah. But, but they're not being honest with their partner and saying, listen, baby, I love you, but I'm going to have other women. But and most guys can't have that conversation with their girl. That's just lying to yourself that that's who you are. And that's who you always have to be. Cause that's, that's being honest with your, with, with no, your it's, woman it's, and yourself. It's, it's accepting that you cannot rewire your brain and change the way you feel. Uh, let me ask you this. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Why is it, why is it that we prioritize the female sexual strategy, her being fulfilled, having a family, being happy, her getting what she wants, etc. But if a guy says, I want to have sexual options and have other women, that's demonized and you need to suppress your... I'm, my I'm thing all, is... I'm all freedom. If, 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 your yeah. wife, if your wife is cool with that and you guys want to, want to engage in that, I have but, not but seen that done successfully. This, but this is what I'm trying to ever? say. This is what I'm trying to say. Most men that have options are going to want to enact on those options. And I think it's ludicrous that we say women should pursue happiness and they should be able to do what they want and get the fulfillment of a man, etc. Because men and women are fulfilled in different ways. Women are fulfilled through relationships and typically family and having the highest value guys you know that they feel that do? they can get. I, 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 well, really men, I disagree. Men, real quick, men want to, in general, Men are fulfilled by different ways, their purpose, etc. But one of the things guys want to do a lot of the times is they want to have sexual variety. And my there, thing is, if a guy works to a certain point and he wants to have sexual variety and he's honest with his partner, he should a, absolutely be able to do that. There's a lot that I want to do all the time. There's so much that I want to do. I have two young kids <laughs> and a family. There's so much that I want to do. And I, I put a, a, a wall of discipline around because there are more important purposes and things that I need to do. Yeah. Versus what I want to do. And I think I would love to do, like, when you have a child, if and when you have a child, mm-hmm. I would love to redo this podcast because I think it's going to reorient the way you think about this I understand this that, issue. but I'm saying that that's what, but at the end of the day, you're still choosing to do that. What I'm saying is that choice. We, we, Correct. we live in such a gynocentric society that we prioritize the female sexual strategy over the male sexual but strategy. You can be I'm saying, fulfilled. Huh? The, you can be fulfilled sexually with one, with a, with a one partner. No, most men, most men absolutely want a variety of women, but that this we're designed for it. We're programmed for it. And I'm saying, look, Gosh, if a guy's going to bust his ass and get to a certain point socioeconomically, physically, be attractive and be able to get a girl and have a family, whatever, I think he should be able to exercise options if he does with being, uh, if he wants to, with, you know, obviously um, letting his girl know and being honest. The problem is that most guys are not honest with their woman. They don't tell her what they really want to do. They do it behind her back. She finds out and it causes issue. I think guys should be honest about it. And if they have the discipline and skill set to be able to build a family, make the money, et cetera, they should be able to you enjoy think, the fruits you of their think labor. a now, woman could actually respect a man like D I'm not talking about stay with him because he's rich and it's high value. You think a woman would be cool and respect a man deeply as the leader of the family. If he's absolutely she'll respect him even more. So, and I'll tell you why women are not the same as us. When a man is able to have sex with a bunch of different women, it's social proof. Women are attracted to that. We are not the same. A woman will like you more when she knows that you picked her over the other girls versus she was your only option. Women and men mate very differently when it comes to intersexual dynamics and women, I would argue social proof is one of the most important factors when it comes to being attractive to women. Do you think it would not be more attractive to have a man who has options and has people who, who want his attention, but he gives it all to her? I mean, we can would go on the Machiavellian side. No, well, here's the thing. Um, women do the best when they are um, they have competition anxiety. Okay, but th- that doesn't mean you have to have sex with them. You can have competition and you can have like... I'm sure I could I could go outside with the watch and, and, and figure out a way to to get that competition. But do you have to actually engage in sex with other women well, to think, show that there is competition? The watch though. is good. I think it's up to the guy. Requires binoculars or something. <laughs> it's a choice. Though, I think it's say, up like, to the guy. My it, thing is, it's I just up to the guy. I, I, my thing is that I think that it's wild that we always prioritize what women want, but what guys no, want is always prioritize. The, and we try to the dictate family. them and say, Listen, "Oh, prioritize you, the you, family." You discipline, blah blah blah, and it's like, no, I built the discipline to build myself up to even get to this point to even have choice. Listen, I think we're so, both right, but as a man, you should make a choice to do what you want. You gotta have hundred percent. That's now, the thing. Now, now, I hate to bring religion into this, but like you're, you're a Christian, right? Correct. So in the Bible, who was the wisest man? And record a history in the Bible. The oldest, the, the, the wisest. Oh, the wisest. Uh, you're gonna have to educate me. King Solomon. Okay. What do he have? 
a thousand wives. Okay. Once wow. again, it's choice. Now, added to that as well, I'm not saying you need to do that because obviously it's yeah. sinful to do that. But as a man, as you know, we have sin inside of us. Sure. So once again, we're going to want to go out there, be with other girls. So it's in us. Yeah. Now, Why to not? deal with that, once again, take your pick of the litter, make a choice, and get married. My, my biggest thing is this. That's it. I, I just simply want to say this because I don't want people to sit here and be like, marriage saying like, go out and bang a bunch of chicks. No. If a guy wants to be monogamous, be monogamous. Yeah. Absolutely more power to you. But I know after talking to literally thousands of men and knowing how men think, etc., we're way more alike. Most guys do want do not want to be monogamous. So I say this: if you're gonna go ahead and you have this itch is and you want to scratch, etc., be honest with your partner, exercise your options, get to a point where you're attractive enough where you can even exercise your options. You got to get your money on point. You got to be attractive. This is why we have a whole playlist on making money. We have a whole playlist on getting in shape. We have a whole playlist on understanding female nature and being attractive and being a holistically attractive man in general. Once you achieve all these things and you have a woman by your side that you uh, uh, that you love, etc., and you're honest with her, look, I want to have other women and you do it in a safe way, it can absolutely be done. But my thing is, I don't want guys to suppress what they want to do and follow the gynocentric model of, oh, be monogamous to one woman because you have to be when you busted your ass to get to a certain place to even Not, attract this woman in the first place. That, I want guys to be monogamous this is the last because thing they want to be. This is the last thing I'll say, and I don't, I don't want to drown on about this, but... Yeah. I I'm, just want them to have choice. Yeah, that's my thing. I'm not saying that you're monogamous because the woman wants that and that's the way it has to be. I'm saying that you're going to have a more fulfilled life and a better purpose if you have a mutually respective relationship with a woman when you have children and you are a family unit. If I go out tomorrow and go bang some women and I go home and I tell my wife, she wouldn't deal with it. But like I'm saying that the level of respect that I would lose was would not be worth the damage that it would do to my family as a unit. So the monogamy is not because it's what you want to do or because it's what, what she wants. But what if you told her that in the onset of the relationship? If she was fine be, with it, it that's my again, if she's fine with it, the that's the freedom. I, I question whether or not like that's, maybe there are some women where that, I haven't seen it done well. Is, is what I'm saying. I've not seen that model done. Most well. women will share a man if, if the guy is high value enough. That's a dirty secret it, that it, women will never it ever admit. It depends on the kind of woman that you're talking about. And that's, I think we keep circling back to that. It depends on the kind of woman that you're talking about. I'll give about. you this. So, a majority of women will not take that. Well, let me, let me, but let the me, ones that do are solid.